Ubuntu 20.04 Focal Fossa is the newest version in the LTS lineup of Ubuntu and it has captured the attention of millions around the world, mainly because we are seeing a number of big changes this time. I was pleasantly surprised when I installed the new Ubuntu. While LTS releases have always been very conservative in terms of changes, the brand new Ubuntu 20.04 LTS is a bold evolution with strong design alterations and superb performance improvements. In this video, I'll be taking you on a walkthrough of the new Ubuntu 20.04 LTS. We'll be having a look at the refreshed desktop, what's new here, the stability, and I'll also talk about the tremendous improvements in speed and performance that we see in the new Ubuntu. At the end of this video, I need to give you some updates regarding the future of this channel, so stay tuned. Let's start off with the user interface. This is where we are seeing many improvements. The first thing you notice is the new wallpaper. Ubuntu 20.04 is codenamed Focal Fossa. For those of you who didn't know, Fossa is a cat-like animal closely related to the mongoose family and it is found in Madagascar. In the last LTS version, that is Ubuntu 18.04, orange was the primary accent color and so it has been since many versions before it. But here, we see a shift to purple color with hints of orange in it. This gradient style coloring is not just limited to the desktop background, but it's everywhere. You can see this gradient here in icons, which look gorgeous by the way. The desktop is looking on spot here. The theme, the icons, the desktop elements are also gorgeous and the style here is contemporary to 2020. Ubuntu long term support versions are generally very conservative as far as changes go. They look the same as the last LTS. How things work are kept the same. But here we are seeing many changes both visually and under the hood. So that makes this particular version quite important. We also get a fully functional dark mode here. In settings, you get to choose between three variants of the same Yaru theme. I really like the standard and dark themes. This is really great as users can now switch to dark mode very conveniently. We see subtle changes everywhere. The activities overlay has things separately organized when you search for something. The sharp window borders look very nice. On the standard theme, it's appreciable how good the desktop looks with clean and defined elements. Even when there are multiple windows on the desktop, they are disassociated visually in a very clear way. The color fading and shadow effects beautifully create a depth to the desktop. These are subtler things, but exactly what makes an operating system more refined and polished. The new icons, new purple color, and a host of improvements make the new Ubuntu look gorgeous and ready for the next 5 years. Ubuntu 20.04 is not just about looks. It has posted epic scores in benchmarks conducted by Pharonix. The performance boost we are seeing here is really exciting. Now let's have a look at the major changes we see in Ubuntu 20.04. Ubuntu 20.04 is powered by the Linux kernel 5.4, which comes with enhanced security features like kernel lockdown. We also get GNOME 3.36, which is the latest version at the moment. GNOME developers have been focusing on improving the performance of GNOME desktop for some time now, and the results have been good. The desktop feels very responsive here and once I installed the proprietary drivers for my Nvidia card, I noticed a surge in the quality of visuals and the smoothness of the desktop too. With this version, we are officially over Python 2 and we get Python 3 here. Software devs should take note of this change. With Ubuntu 19.04, ZFS was introduced to Linux and this has been further improved in Ubuntu 20.04. We also get a set of new wallpapers. Although small in number, these wallpapers look really nice. And they also removed the annoying way of changing the wallpaper with the drop down we had in the last version. Now they change with a single click, like how it should be. And another change we see, a change which many of you wanted to see here. Ubuntu has finally dropped the Amazon web app that it shipped with every release. Although many of you use Amazon, I don't think anybody really used the Amazon web app that was pre-installed. It's dropped with this version. Next, let's quickly have a look at the performance and the stability of the new Ubuntu. Ubuntu 20.04 comes with a refreshed set of packages including the latest GNOME desktop and the kernel. This version is way faster than the last LTS release, that is Ubuntu 18.04 as the benchmarks have shown. The good folks at Pharonix conducted 199 benchmark tests, pitting Ubuntu 20.04 against 18.04 and 20.04 came up in 73% of the times. 
and even when it lost, it was not too far behind with respect to how it scored. 18.04 had a geometric mean of 33 across all the tests while Ubuntu 20.04 scored an impressive geometric mean of 42. That is a mind-blowing 33% improvement in performance. So performance-wise, I'm really happy with what I'm seeing. Even when you forget the numbers for a while and consider only the experience, I did feel Ubuntu 20.04 to be very responsive. You get a visibly fluid experience throughout the system. The applications opening, browsing the web, everything is faster and better. For people who have NVIDIA GPUs, we are getting the driver version 440, which is very efficient and has shown significant improvements in gaming performance too. Now, you can experience much better frame rates and the quality of graphics while gaming on the same hardware. So yeah, Ubuntu 20.04 is going to be a power-packed experience. This is an LTS version, so it will be supported for the next 5 years. Ubuntu LTS versions are probably the most used Linux distros in the world at any given time. They are extremely stability oriented and provide a computing environment that is highly dependable, be it for schools or to deploy super critical multi-million dollar websites. You can install it once and you'll be good for the next 5 years. Let's talk about software availability. Ubuntu is one of the top distros as far as software availability is concerned. It gets official support from most software vendors. Now with its Snap apps, more and more major software vendors are getting on board. With Snap, Ubuntu is bringing new software not only to its user base but for all the other Linux distros too. That's something that should be appreciated. Ubuntu has huge repositories of stable tested packages. Pretty much anything you need can be installed directly from official Ubuntu repos in a very fast, convenient and secure way. We can also use PPAs to get more software. PPAs are maintained by the particular software developers themselves so they are very dependable. Ubuntu does not always provide the latest of all the packages. But that's not a bad thing necessarily. We always get slightly older but extensively tested packages which are guaranteed to work flawlessly and their stability is guaranteed. Last year there was an issue between Ubuntu and Steam due to some miscommunication. Or was it? Ubuntu had talked about dropping 32-bit libraries absolutely and as we know, many games rely on those libs and would no longer work. So Steam immediately responded with hints of dropping support to Ubuntu. But as of today and as far as Ubuntu 20.04 LTS is concerned, things have been sorted out and Steam still supports Ubuntu and it is one of the best distros for gaming. All the games are tested and optimized for this system so you will have a flawless gaming experience. Nvidia driver version has also been bumped up to 440 here, so you are getting much better frame rates and quality of gaming with Ubuntu 20.04. Ubuntu 20.04 is good for both casual gamers and intense gamers. With Steam's Proton, you can play more than 6500 Windows exclusive games on Linux without any setup hassle. Yeah, gaming on Linux has got a major bump and Ubuntu 20.04 will be one of the best ways to experience it. Ubuntu 20.04 LTS has a very straightforward installation. The whole thing takes just around 10 minutes and all the steps are beginner friendly. But if you want any help with it, you can use my step by step installation video, link in the description. It has always been very easy to install proprietary drivers for things like Nvidia graphics cards. But with this version, they are automatically installed at installation if you want it. This is really convenient. Especially for Linux newcomers, this is great. They can just install the OS and expect everything to be working at top gear. Overall, I am very pleased with this release. We are getting a stable, dependable OS that is so good to look at. The strong colors, slick animations and refined finishing make Ubuntu look really good on the eye. The boosted performance is an added bonus. I really appreciate Ubuntu developers for bringing out such a good looking and power packed system. This is a fine product and I love it. Ubuntu has been pushing Snap apps heavily and although they have their advantages, Snap versions of all the software are not always better than their traditional app packages. But when you search an app on the new Ubuntu software store, the Snap version will be prioritized in the search results. I really would like to have a switch using which we can turn off the Snap apps like how we have an option with the apt apps. This would make things more to my liking and I'm sure many of you would also like this option. That's the only thing I didn't like here. I'm not fully against Snaps 2, 
because I understand what Canonical is trying to do with snaps and the clear advantage that they have, but I'm not ready to use them yet. Apart from this one tiny issue, Ubuntu 20.04 for LTS gets top score from me. It's impressive and provides a solid computing environment for pretty much everybody. Students, developers, Linux gamers, businesses, this system is suitable for everybody and it is more streamlined than ever. Ubuntu 20.04 LTS will be the de facto Linux distro for the foreseeable future. It will be used by millions and very honestly, this is a worthy release with which I am really happy. Do give it a try, the download link is given in the description below. Now I have some important channel updates that I want to share with you guys. Firstly, we hit 30,000 subscribers and I really want to thank you guys for the love and the support you have given me since day one. This would never be possible without you. I know 30,000 may not be a lot, but I'm really happy to have you guys and every single comment that you people leave appreciating my work, giving me feedback. They mean a lot to me and help me keep going. Thank you guys. Secondly, you might have noticed that I'm putting out more videos now and more consistently. So I have decided to make this full time. I'm absolutely passionate about creating Linux content and you guys are always positive about my work. So I think it's the right time for me to do this full time. Since the channel is still very small, it doesn't make a sustainable amount of money. So I have created a Patreon page where you can help me create videos for you and thousands of others. Please do check it out. Finally, I really appreciate all of you for being with me on this journey. We've come a long way. But what's ahead of us is even more exciting. I really can't begin to express the gratitude I feel. Long ago, there have been times when I wanted to quit. But the one comment, one comment saying good job kept me going and here we are. So keep supporting me guys. If you enjoy my work, if you have suggestions for me, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. You know I reply to pretty much every comment. Thank you all once again. This is the next text. See you in the next one.